holiday favorite with a piece of wood. All right, welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make an amazing holiday charcuterie board. Don't ask me to spell it, but I can kind of say it. So I've got everything I need here, and we're gonna show you how to build a beautiful board. I kind of like got lucky. I got this amazing pack of uh, cheese here. There's four different types of cheese. Gotta love Costco. So we're gonna slide that out. So this one has cheddar, Swiss, Gouda, Monterey Jack. And I also have some beautiful sliced meats. And I'm gonna have a variety of crackers and all kinds of stuff. So what I could tell you about charcuterie boards is there's really no rules and it all depends on what you like. But at the end of the day, if you build them kind of in a nice way, they look beautiful and you will really impress your guests. So I think I'm gonna start it with some cheese. So I'm just gonna grab a stack here and they're already kind of sliced in, in a nice way. So I'm just gonna start putting them on the board like that. And then we'll grab the Swiss and we'll do the same thing with all the different kinds here. So again, there's really no rules. You present it however you like. To start out with, it looks kind of a little silly, I guess, but we're gonna get there. Let's move on to some meats. So this is a salami with prosciutto, which is really, really nice. Again, it's perfect because it's already sliced, ready to go. So we're gonna put that there. We'll open up all three packs here. This one is a uh, spicy salami. So we'll put that there. The other one's a Parma salami. So these are all Italian based. So maybe we'll put another chunk over here. I'll put a chunk like that over there. So we're starting to get there. We're, we're building here. So I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna put this aside. Now we're gonna move into some crackers. Again, there's no rules, whatever crackers you like, but uh, I've got four different types here that we're gonna use. So this is just a Breton cracker. So maybe we'll present that across there like that to start. Then I'll open up some Triscuits, I'll grab a mitt full of those, put those aside and maybe I'll just sort of stack those in the corner here like this. Now I've also got some really nice gherkin pickles that I pieced out into a, a nice little ramekin as well as some olives and then I have some cashews. So a lot of times they suggest you kind of have some salty, some sweet, uh, some nuts if you have it. In this case here, I have cashews, uh, grapes if you have them. I don't have any uh, today, but that's okay. And uh, we'll just continue to build here. So again, this is just another type of cracker. We'll just grab a kind of a mitt full. Maybe we'll put a few over here as well. And I'll grab another type of cracker. And it's kind of nice too when you have some crackers that have different shapes and that they're, you know, not everything's all the same and it just gives some variety to your board. So we'll put those in a couple different places. Again, like I said, there's no rules. Fill the holes, fill the uh, spots wherever you can. Add some crackers here or there. We're starting to come together here. It's looking pretty nice. So I see that I have some spots that I wanna fill. So I think I'm just gonna start filling those with, again, the same kind of crackers we had and just have them in, in, a, in a separate location. Triscuits, put those there. Maybe do another small amount of these Breton crackers, sort of lay those across there like that. I think we're pretty good for cheese. Maybe we'll add a few of these here. All right, so there's a nice little spot in the middle here. I may grab another chunk of this prosciutto, another salami with prosciutto, maybe split it in half, tuck it in there like that. Doesn't really matter, there's no rules, but put some more there like that. The last thing I add here is uh, craisins. They're really sweet, so they add a nice balance and texture to your charcuterie board and again, helps kind of fill in some of those voids. So we're just gonna kind of filter some of those in here and lay them in nice and kind of let them sit wherever they fall. So that's kind of charcuterie board 101 with the average kitchen. Uh, I think it looks beautiful. I may tweak and move a couple things around here and there. I think it looks really nice. Um, again, no rules. Whatever type of cheese you like, whatever type of meats you like, whatever type of crackers you like, you add them, build it, and I guarantee your friends and family will be very impressed. So that's the episode on Shatruri Board. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out our other videos, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Come all